My name is Oliver Queen. I've been stranded on an island with only one goal. Survive. Survive and one day use a proper toilet again. I must fulfill my father's dying wish to use the list of names he left me and bring down those who are poisoning my city. To do this, I must become someone else. I must become something else. Something green and pointy and arrowy. So far I've learned how to give a bowl of water a good slapping, but my training is by no means complete. Like what if I'm attacked by a bowl of soup? Not watery soup, that really thick, thick pea soup. Whole different fighting style to water. Anyway, I'm not alone on this island. I've met another survivor, Slade Wilson. He's okay, he just likes to take his top off a little too much and hits me in the face a lot. But he assures me it's for my own good. He's agreed to train me to fight and to survive. That day, Slade and I decided to visit a nearby campsite that belonged to our not-so-friendly neighbors. We would need to trust each other if our plan was to succeed. For members of the continuity police out there, sometimes I like to imagine myself back on the island wearing my arrow costume, okay? Thank you for saving me from that vicious ensnarement, fellow crime fighter. My experiences on the island changed me. Sometimes they even changed me into a small, plastic version of myself. Slade had changed too, but he always had a plan to survive. There's no doubt in my mind that being around Slade made me stronger. I hardly ever climbed waterfalls at home. Danger was all around the island. You always had to watch your step. It was Yao Fei's bow. Slade had hidden it for safekeeping, but today, we needed to put it to good use. I remember thinking at the time that my archery had greatly improved, as well as wondering how Slade had been able to construct such an elaborate shooting gallery. We were ready to take on the bad guys but it turned out they were ready too.
It was going to be tricky to get past unless we thought of something. Luckily, Slade was extremely skilled when it came to not being seen. Turned out to be a setup. They were waiting to ambush us like guests at some twisted surprise birthday party without any presents, cake, or ice cream. At last, we spotted our prize. A stockpile of weapons that, for us, would make getting off the island next to impossible. We had to destroy them while we had the chance. So there you have it. Another harrowing experience back on the island that made me into who I am today, into what I've become today. Now I gotta go. Felicity and Diggle worry when I flash back for too long. Remember, keep your arms straight and let go.